Hello and welcome everyone. We all love watching and playing football matches, don't we? Before the start or while the match is on, we try to forecast which team is going to win. And this is done on the basis of certain things. The first thing is, before the start of the match, we predict on prior records of the respective teams and decide which team should win. Second one, we predict while the match is half over on the basis of current situation. And the third one is interesting. We hope for some magic or miracle to happen. And these criteria may vary and go on and on. Everyone has their own strategy and tactics, or we can say we use probability and statistics. Yes, this is the approach which we apply at each and every moment in the game. So let's play a game together and decide which strategy is the best. Are you ready? All right. We have two dice. One is with me and the another one is with you. We roll the dice simultaneously and then add the numbers coming on the uppermost faces of both the dice. So the resulting numbers will be a minimum of 2, uh, then 3, 4, till a maximum of 12. The numbers will be between 2 to 12. They cannot be less than 2 and more than 12. Okay? And here are the choices. The set 1 has the following sums. 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11 and 12. And the set 2 has sums 6, 7, 8 and 9. And you have to choose one of the sets to play this game. For example, if you choose set 2, and I choose set 1. Then upon rolling the dice, if the addition comes between any of these 4 numbers, 6, 7, 8 or 9, you will get a chocolate. And if the addition comes out to be numbers from the other set, you will have to give the cost of a chocolate. You are free to choose between any of these two sets. So which one will you choose? What are the possibilities of you being in profit? Here's a hint. You don't have any prior records of this game as that of football, but you can create a sample one. You may press pause button and select a strategy which is profitable for you. So which one did you choose? Set 1. It has a maximum numbers. If it was me in your case, even I would have done that. But this is not the best choice. Wondering why? Well, let's have a look at this sample space, which shows the summation of the numbers on the uppermost faces of two dice rolled. You can see that there are 16 cases when you will get a chocolate, whereas there are 20 cases where you will have to pay the price of chocolates. So you are under loss because you will have to pay extra price of 4 chocolates. Even though there are more numbers in set 1, but the chances of occurrence of those numbers is less. Whereas in set 2, the numbers are very less, almost half than that of set 1, but the chances of their occurrence is very high. This is how many games are designed. So before playing any such game, make sure you know the sample space and the probability of winning and only then go ahead on the other hand rolling the dice does not necessarily give the above result when rolled 36 times it may also be possible that it gives results in your favor all the times but if you keep on playing this game on and on eventually it will lead to the above probability in other words, if you keep on playing this game with set 2 as your choice against 100 or 1000 or even more than that people, you will ultimately be in profit and out of those who played against you, some of them will face loss and some will face profit. Larger the sample, greater is its accuracy. Before we end up this session, Try a similar kind of question. 
We have two dice but with eight faces written one to eight. We'll roll them together and add the numbers coming on the uppermost faces. So which resulting number would have the highest probability of occurrence? We hope you like this session. Post your queries and doubts in the comment box. Watch more sessions on math and statistics and probability on our website www.letstute.com. Let's meet next time with another puzzle. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.